Hi, I'm Mark Atkinson. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mersion. So Mersion is the virtual reality training platform where professionals practice interpersonal skills, um, particularly in very high stress positions where the interaction with clients or coworkers is essential to corporate success. Um, this whole sort of move towards soft skills, if you listen to the uh, workforce development panel earlier this morning, uh, is becoming increasingly important as we think about a workforce that is increasingly mobile, working in teams, working on projects, um, cultivating talent, and developing the kind of skills that add value to, to, to products and services across the board. Um, the areas where we focus our VR-based simulations are in leadership development, uh, communication and presentation skills, uh, sales, customer service, HR, interviewing, um, dealing with difficult employee situations, those types of modalities. Um, and we've seen in recent events that brands that don't pay attention to these things come under considerable public threat. Um, there is, um, in some of these brands, the, the practice of training around interpersonal skills is more evolved. Uh, for those of you that have gone through the, the on-ramp to medicine and in the medical field, doctors have a long tradition of doing simulated patient work where they not only have practice around learning the skills of oral diagnostics and other things, but they actually are increasingly being trained around bedside manner and communicating with families. But in many other fields, this is a, an emergent practice. Um, but these brands have all come to us, very conscious of the fact that the skills around the way teams work, so for example, Amazon very concerned about the way in which the managers and in facilities interact with frontline employees where they have an enormous amount of growth these days. Athena Health and Johnson & Johnson where the sales of medical device and solutions are not just about understanding the technical merits of a product, but being able to explain how it fits into the culture of a new organization. Um, Dell going through a large merger where you have a hardware culture integrating with a, uh, a solutions culture and bringing teams together across cultural boundaries to understand the leadership development that's required. Um, and so Best Western, where we trained, and I'll use a case study, I'll show a case study, all the front desk clerks in every Best Western hotel in the country around customer service. There is a wide range of brands that are recognizing that simulation around interpersonal skills is the way to improve product uh, delivery. So, so how does it work? Um, our platform works uh, on a variety of, in a variety of modalities. Um, were I to be the learner here, I could be interacting with an avatar going through a role play right now around a particular conversation where the avatar would respond to me in real time. But if you come down to Tomorrowland where we're demonstrating right now, we also do it in the Oculus Rift in a fully immersive environment where if you're actually about to go through that tough conversation with an employee that you're gonna let go who has been a very difficult challenge for you over the last couple of years, you're gonna feel the emotion of her pushback in real time around how can you possibly be having this conversation with me. So we find that different platforms work um, in for different purposes in this, uh, in this modality of, of, of training. Um, we've built a wide range of avatars and environments to support different contexts in which people have to do role play. The technology began actually in education, where if you look in the middle sort of um, scenario here, we were helping teachers learn how to deal with behavioral issues in classroom by working with small groups of kids, and where kids have either learning cognitive challenges, language challenges, or behavioral challenges. And the great thing is they can role play very discrete simulations around specific tasks for a long period of time without ever making their mistakes on real kids. Um, we've taken that technology and are deploying it right now with educational testing service around a new generation of teacher licensure products that are being rolled out in a series of states right now. Um, the technology is a blend of AI and real human actors. It's what allows us to have the real-time authenticity of the exchange. So the AI drives all of the animations. It makes the non-speaking avatars active during the periods of times that you're engaging with specific kids. Um, but the real human allows us to actually make the conversation very intense and very authentic. Um, the, the, it also helps in analytics, as I'll explain towards the end of the presentation. I, the one thing I'd say, it sort of positions us as a business, as a technology-enabled service. But because simulations are so powerful in small doses, doses, our business runs a gross margin of around 75%. So we think it's a very scalable model. And I'll show you 
um, in one of the examples of a case study we did that it's proven to be quite scalable. Um, as we're doing this kind of one-to-one -one exchange with a blend of AI and humans, we've built a machine learning uh, layer in the platform that is taking the interactions and first parsing um, when I have a difficult conversation and I raise my tone of voice, what does the avatar do? So that increasingly, the AI is now picking up more and more of the behaviors of the avatar so that the human can focus on the cognitive